by 30 worms. <laughs> about things that happen, you have no control over it. But they, when things happen, they happen without you having control. And I kept dreaming about this bottle. I said, why in the world do I have to do with a bottle? Crazy. You don't drink, do you? No. I <laughs> and you've heard at times that people have found some bottles or a bottle and they had this address inside of it and, and they call and say, well, that's been for, oh, years, years and years. Well, guess what? I found a bottle. <laughs> and I think, and I think the right person should be the one to explain more about this bottle, even though we haven't even talked about it. He knows more about it than I'll ever know. So can I ask Mr. Boyd to come up, please? <laughs> Here's a bottle that we found in the ocean. Turn around. <laughs> this oh, yeah, in the ocean. <laughs> and there was a note there, but you have to read the note for us. ship and raised them on the bottle and uh, they got up great big monkeys and, and so we went back back overseas again and we went up in there and got us two stalks of bananas and hung them I hung mine on the forward deck and he hung his on the, the after the after deck and so we uh, when the banana started to get in ripe, well, I was standing gun watch up there one night, and and uh, here come his monkey around, and I had a banana turning. So his monkey reached up and got my banana and pulled it off, and it peeled it and ate it. So I saw him down at the mess hall, and I said, "Hey, uh, your monkey's a." Uh, eating my bananas. <laughs> I said, I want something done about it. I said, I stay here and I, I watch them bananas ripe each time I go up to gun watch. Well, I watch them bananas get ripe and here will come your monkey and reach up and pull the banana off and eat it. So he said, how, how come you think it's mine? It might have been your monkey. I said, no, it wasn't mine. Mine don't bother them when I, when I give him one. He'll eat it, but he won't bother me. So my banana started arriving and more, and I hadn't had one of them to eat. Here come that monkey and picking them off. I just picked him up and threw him over in the ocean and back on us. It's going like this. And come around and said, where's my monkey? And I said, I guess he uh, jumped overboard and sunk for me and my banana. <laughs> so, uh, so then uh, when I started to get off the ship, I had uh, two German Lugers that, that I took off of a dead jet, wide belt, and I was leading that monkey and I carrying them guns, and 
<laughs> and that saber that I got over there so that the officer down there at the gangway said well you can take the monkey he said you'll have to get him shots and it'll take two weeks to get his shots <laughs> so I said well I haven't got time for that so I just unsnapped his snap and said go home boy <laughs> he went back on the ship that's the last time I saw him I turned around and said, what about my dimes and saber? He said, well, you give me two dollars and when the war is over, I'll send them to you. So I thought, well, here goes two dollars, but it, it might work. So when I got home, I got home in February and the second day of March with a package come and I owed 45 cents on the postage. I went and got my guns and my saber, and the money was real short, and them was pearl handle 45 Lugers, and I sold a belt and a both German Lugers for $50. <laughs> <laughs> so if I had them now, you couldn't buy them. Yeah, so put the capacitor on this, ain't it? Yeah, put capacitor around. Yeah, I want to see it. Okay. That's, That's pretty good. Time. Thank you for sharing that with us. That's your model.